So the other day, while I was wandering around the premises of London Film Comic Con, I stumbled upon a panel that had the pictures of Swan Princess on there, and a man wearing a pink suit. This man went by the name of Selden O. Young, and I had myself a nice friendly conversation, and I found out that not only he's a film producer in Hollywood for well over 25 years, producing over 100 films, but I also found out that he was the proud owner of the Swan Princess. Oh, and just to clarify with anybody out there who's not super geeky into animation like me, Disney did not make the Swan Princess. It was Mr. Young. In fact, Mr. Young is proud of the fact that he owns Swan Princess. So proud, in fact, that he not only wears the characters on his sleeves and tie, but he also has Odette, the main female lead of the film, slap bang on right on his car door. But anyway, Mr. Young was such a nice chap to talk to that I couldn't help but ask if I could maybe do a little bit of an interview with him for the purposes of college. And sure enough, he was so friendly, he said yes. I'm happy with answering whatever uh, you got. So in this video, you're going to see as to how he got started in the industry, but also show me on how Sal animation works, the technique that was used to create the Swan Princess, and finally, I'll be asking him if a certain remake is in production. I've heard some rumors somewhere that there's supposedly a live action Swan Princess film in the work. Is that true? So stay tuned, these questions and more will be answered in this video. Right, so our first question, appropriately enough, asking Mr. Young as to how he got started in the industry of becoming a producer. There can be a very long answer to this question, but oh. I'm going to give you as short as possible. Okay. I was a door-to-door -door salesman, and I sold books door-to-door, -door, not trained in school, and then I decided it was time to sell audio tapes. And we started producing audio stories. I produced a hundred audio stories that we let people learn about historical figures, biblical figures, and that got my start in understanding about production. And then one day, my partner and I were in a room together, and my partner turns to me and says, you know what we need to do? We need to produce these in cartoons. And so that started in production of film. His first piece of work in the animation industry was a New Testament story. Then throughout the 90s, he carried on making many other animation projects, that being movies and TV programs. He carried on until the mid-2000s. He took a small break from the animation industry, but then he came back into the industry in 2012 with The Swan Princess Christmas. That in itself marked the return of The Swan Princess franchise within 14 years. And he's been carrying on making more Swan Princess films ever since, with currently the ninth film in production. But I also wondered, after all these years in the animation industry, if it's gotten any more competitive over the years, given the likes of Disney and Pixar, and many other competitive animation studios. Well, this industry is certainly enormously competitive, especially today. But I don't look at things that way. I look at things, I'm going to find a niche. And even though there may be a competitor out there, I try to block out all competition. I mean, if you look at it, the biggest competitor is who? Disney. They got all kinds of princesses. And why would I try to launch a princess, princess story? Well, that all kind comes down to the fact that I have a tendency to just say, if you are passionate about what you do, you will make it happen. Just block it out and go after it. Mr. Young had also brought along some of the original Sal animations from the Swan Princess. Sal animation is a really old fashioned technique of animating a hand drawn film. I asked if you could perhaps show them off, showing on how classic animation used to be made. This is how true artistry is done in creating animated films. Fully hand painted, hand drawn, and backgrounds all hand painted and then shot with a really unique camera and the movements of the camera and the movement of the cells make this an unbelievable process it took us 300 artists four years to produce the swan princess and nearly a million paintings drawings and backgrounds to do it. oh so let's say for so let's say ha, like you know how big this hall is how many of those paints would you say would fill up this room Let's put it that I have uh, four 10 by 10 rooms totally full, 
and if you can imagine, my entire racquetball court in my house is filled up with nothing but sets. It's bigger than a shed. You know a racquetball court? High ceilings? Okay. That's how much it takes. So, if I show you these animations, and you look at the, the beautiful perfectness of the lines that are done with a cell. I mean, it is a true painting. Everything's painted on the back of the cell. And if you look at these holes, these holes here for the artist to use and the camera to get the frame exactly right. It takes two or 24 cells per second as a minimum and up to as over 120 when you stack the cells on top of each other to create depth. So to show you how that's done, here's one that has layers. There's a special effects layer that's water. They layer the two together, line those holes up, they paint this one, then they paint this one on the back. It's kind of like painting by number because they have a line art on a lighted table that comes up so they can easily paint by number. Now, when those things are lined up, they can also take this, and this has the, the uh, sequence number and the frame number down here. They turn it over, put it on a flat cut camera, take a picture of it, and that becomes that 1 24th of a second of the film. And then after that, they add the background. Now these backgrounds can be as big as this, or they can be, we have one that is 18 feet long, so that they can move the characters along the background of all different things within a forest scene, within a castle scene, so they can become really long in a sense. These cells obviously become really rare, and especially since they're not done anymore this way in Swan Princess for the last fully hand-drawn, hand-painted movie to be released in theaters. It won't be done again because it's a lost art. Well, seeing how much he really loves the classic animation style, I couldn't help but ask as to why the newest one Princess movies have seemed to left behind the hand-drawn technique in favour of the new CGI route. In 1994, 1989 to 1984, it cost me $45 million to do this film. 300 artists. There's not 300 artists I can hire of this quality, and all of them have gone to computer. They do all their art on computer today. So you can't find them to do it like this. And the second reason is, if you had all those work artists working together, it would cost hundreds of millions of dollars to create the film. Computerization, you draw certain parts, and then the computer fills in the rest of the parts. Took me four years to create it. On computer today, I can create the films in 67 weeks. So after all these years of Mr. Young being in the industry, I asked if there was any kind of advice he could perhaps give to anybody out there who wanted to get into the industry. Okay, the first one, you got to pull your emotions up. Mm -hmm. And then not let that emotion fade. If you have passion for filmmaking, you go after it. Don't let people tell you no. Don't let people tell you it's too competitive. You find your passion and what you dream of and you push forward. I did it without any film career, any film education whatsoever. And I produced over 100 films. And finally, to cap off this entire interview, I decided to ask Mr. Young about a rumor that's been circulating for a while that the fans want to know if it's true or not. So Mr. Young, I've heard some rumors somewhere that there's supposedly a live action Swan Princess film in the work. Is that true? Well, actually, that is not true yet. And the reason why, yeah, is I have to rally all my fans for the Swan Princess to go on Facebook and Instagram and whatever social media and sign up for the newsletter so that we can gather everybody together to push our distributor off the fence to do Swan Princess live action because that's my ambition. Oh, so you hear that people? If you really want to see that live action Swan Princess film, then go to the Facebook, go to all the plugins that Aisha said and sign up because we want to see this become a reality. <laughs>
There we go. Any, anything else, last words you want to say to the people, that your fans out there, your diehard fans? Well, what I absolutely love at this show, we've had so many absolutely fantastic fans that are fanatical. It's absolutely wonderful. And they are passionate about doing what I want to do. Ah, wonderful note to end on. <laughs> Hello! Thank you so much for watching this video and also thank you to um, Selden for doing the interview with me. Um, he's such a friendly and nice chap, he's really engaging with any kind of conversation so please, um, if you do see him at convention then please go up and say hi to him, he's really nice. <laughs> and also thank you to my brother for um, holding the camera for me when I was doing the interview because if he wasn't there then well, I would have had it done like what, a weird selfie thing and you would have this arm coming into the camera. I'm trying to balance out the frame and speaking to Mr. Young like that on my phone. It would have all been horrible. So thank you to my brother for holding the camera. And um, oh yeah, um, I actually got a little purchase. Look at that. This is an original cell animation from the Swan Princess. Look, it's great. <laughs> We've got Jean Barb, uh, Mr. Young's favourite character. <laughs> um, he actually had it as his tie. <laughs> and we got um, Puffin, the Irish. Irish. Um, Puffin, look, who knew Puffins had teeth? <laughs> yes, yeah, really nice. I actually got um, uh, another one over there um, framed. Um, I haven't got this one framed just yet because I haven't been able to find a frame big enough for it, but I hope to find a frame pretty soon because it, it's, it's just too nice just leaving it lying around. Oh yeah, it's signed by Mr. Young on the back. Lovely. I'm, I'm really chuffed I've got this because I've always wanted a film cell from an animated film because um, it's almost like owning a bit of the film and also almost like having a bit of a film prop lying around in your house. It's brilliant. I love it. I've got to get this framed. And oh yeah, he also gave me um, this. A self promotion for Swan Princess Night. Now it's sweets, sweets in the back. Look, they all got little pictures on them of the various characters in the Swan Princess. But yeah, um, so yeah, I guess this is our first look at what Swan, Swan Princess Nine will be like. Look at that. Um, I guess Chinese or Japanese. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm not good at my culture. Sorry, but we'll find out as once the film comes out what <laughs> culture this is. Um, but yeah. Proper nice. But yeah, if you want to sign up to the newsletter, and especially if you want to see that live action um, Swan Princess film, then I'll leave a link in the description below to the website where you can sign up for it. And, and the way it's, I'm, I'm speaking, it sounds like I'm self promoting him. I'm honestly not. Mr. Young's not paying me to do any of this kind of stuff. I'm just doing this um, out of passion of a film that I really enjoyed as a child. <laughs> so yeah, and until next time, goodbye. What's that? What's that rattling? What's that? What's that rattling? That's the sweet, isn't it? Yeah, do you want a sweet? You want a sweet? No, she don't want a sweet. Mm. Someday, I'll get my power back. And when I do, everything you love. Be my.